hello traders dion here welcome to my channel all right this is this this won't be a long video i just want to uh, this is like a continuation from the previous from the previous video that i made i'm still talking about bias how you you are supposed to use bias okay so let me go down to 15 minute chat okay so on the 15 minute chart this market was in an uptrend okay these were the these were the mappings that 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 i did all right so i was saying in my last video that uh your bias the bias gives you uh, a bigger picture of where the market is coming from and where it's going okay now i want to answer a certain questions that most of you like 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 uh, asking me how do you know where the market is going <laughs> so there's no way of knowing where the market is going okay so these things that i'm giving you when you look at the when you look at your charts okay it just gives you a certain age okay you just anticipate where the market might go based on what what it, what it's doing or how it's reacting okay so there's no way of knowing where the market is going if if there was a way of knowing i wouldn't be using any <laughs> stop losses or whatever i'll be a billionaire right now okay so there's no way of knowing we do these things based on probabilities okay if the market if the market is doing this i'm supposed to do this all right so with the bias i said that it gives you a bigger picture of where the market is coming from and where its uh, potential is supposed to go okay so this was was a clear uptrend the market was making break of structure to the to the upside now I think the last video I ended somewhere here because the market was just playing around here. Yeah, and then I was saying that it's supposed to at least go into this 4-hour POI for it to, yeah, at least bounce back to to the downside and make a change of character. Now, now, from your question where you say that how do you know that the market is going to change character? All right, so my analysis time frame is 15 minute time frame okay but my bias mostly is just the four hour chart okay so now look at this this entry the, 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 there was uh, an entry right here okay but based on the 15 minute chart this is a counter trend okay if i'm if i'm trading with you you say that you are going against the trend and you'll be right okay but based on the bias in on the bias this is an extreme order block okay this is an extreme poi on the four hour chart all right but if you are just looking at the 15 minute chart what you are going to see is a counter trend all right so the market here made a, a single candle kind of order block right here okay under the 15 minute chart so for people that trade the four hour chart uh i always tell you to at least use the 15 minute chart as your entry time frame okay but for me for a person who trades the 15 minute chart my entry is still the one minute chart okay even if i'm using the four chart as a bias okay so even here you still have to go under the the one minute time frame okay and i almost missed this trade i almost missed this trade okay so okay so when the market came up again you can see this single candle order block right here okay and another thing that i've noticed some of you are still scared of taking a risk <laughs> okay because you are just scared of losing now i don't know if you are doing all this analysis but you can't you can still take a trade 
of course you are going to lose i lose some trades still okay it's just that when you lose it doesn't really touch you that much because let's say the market actually went through here and then i lost i was going i was just going to come out and then start looking for another setup that's all that's what it takes there's no need of you being scared of ah no what if it goes against you it's going to go against you okay so here this is this 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 was the this the entry was just here okay you short from here you don't need to move your stop loss your stop loss is just supposed to be right on top here okay now you know i i trade the 15 minute chart so here but this was a higher quality trade because there there were a lot there was a lot of confluence okay on the 15 minute chart and on the four hour chart and the one minute chart also on the four hour chart this is an extreme uh order block okay on the 15 minute chart i'm trading in a single candle order block on the one minute chart i'm also trading a single candle order block okay so that's that's a high quality trade okay going back to the 15 minute chart I did not even go that far the first take profit was just here today i was not scalping that much but the first take profit was here the last take profit was just here i did not go all the way to the change of character yeah the last take profit was just here and i was out so all this movement i was not there i was not there now for people that actually trade the forward chart i don't trade the forward chart okay for people that actually trade the forward chart, let me show you something. If you actually entered there, if you actually entered there, if your last, if your last stake profit is here, look at that risk to reward ratio. Okay. But along the I don't I I really don't advise you to be waiting for the market to reach that far. Maybe you can just leave one one trade to reach that far. But along the way, you can take partials. So the market has reached here. This is a risk to reward ratio of 44. That's a lot, guys. Okay, you can take something out of this. Alright. When the when the market goes again and then comes to this uh this pullback right here that is at this 79 risk to reward ratio okay that's it you can grow your account like that so what i'm trying to say guys with bias don't concentrate on the the, the the daily the daily bias okay i don't know why you are so hell-bent on just wanting to learn the daily bias the daily bias takes a lot of time for it to form. I'm telling you, for the price action to like really, really play out. Okay, at this, uh, the four chart and the fifteen minute chart, they are they are they are not that far apart. Okay, but if you trade the four hour chart, it's fine. You can look at the daily daily bias. It's really going to help you out a lot. Okay. But if you are like me, you trade the 15 minute chart, it's fine to just look at the four hour chart. From time to time, you can just check it, you know, you can just look at the daily just for a, sh for a short period of time. And then, yeah, so it's, it's really not that complicated, guys. Okay, I just want you to be very, very, very careful. Okay. If you don't know how to switch between these three time frames, it's going to be very hard for you. You are going to mess up. Okay. Uh, another question that I get asked is, uh, are all the time frames supposed to line up? No. If you say that all the time frames are supposed to line up, you are not going to be trading. The whole week, you can just go the whole week without trading. And when that opportunity comes, you are going to lose and you just end up frustrated. Here you can already see 
on the four chart the market is in a downtrend okay but on the 15 minute chart the market was in an uptrend all right so in my head already i know that there's a poi up there there are some, there's some inducement that need to be taken out so i just need to be careful and then as long as i know that i'm in a counter trend based on on my bias time frame i need to manage my risk okay but coming down is actually better now under the 15 minute time frame okay when you are selling here since you are now on the 15 minute chart and the four chart they are now they are now aligned okay so i think i think that's it if you have any questions you can put them in the comment section and if you are new here consider subscribing and liking this video all right guys until next time happy trading